Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Today I'm filming uh, eating disorder recovery Q&A part two because I filmed one of these a couple of weeks ago and I still have a few more questions that I felt like I should answer slash speak about and it's kind of like just an update on my life and what's happening in my life. I'm actually really quite poorly. I am time of the month right now and since I've got my period back oh my actual god it has literally been horrendous yeah so since I got my period back I got my period back in I want to say June maybe July um and it wasn't well it was regular I had it July June July August and then September I had three periods it was literally hell and I was so ill for the whole month of September I think it was down to stress hormones and all that jazz and clearly my body is still really sensitive to all that because I can't even explain to you I was literally in bed like for one week in September I remember literally sleeping every day for about three days because I just felt so rough um, and then I didn't have a period then, I say like I came off my period on like the 30th of September, I'm not really sure, and then I've only just come back on now, and it's like the 22nd of November, so obviously if you're not in recovery you won't really get that, but my period still isn't 100% regular every month, but it is coming back, and I just think, I don't think, it wasn't because I wasn't like fueling properly, because I was, it was genuinely just down to stress, and like my body just, I think it was just in overdrive, like in September it was clearly like, I moved to uni, Connor moved to Dubai, it was really busy, loads of birthdays, loads of people's like celebrations and I think my body was just like like playing catch up with me almost and then no, uh, October and basically the whole of November I feel like my body was just like chill, like still really stressed, like I didn't know what to do but like it was taking me a while to calm down and now I feel like it's finally like the stress and the hormones have kind of clearly like well not hormones but like the stress has like evened out a bit um especially this week and i came on but i'm just so poorly with it like i i haven't had a proper period like regular like period for like a long amount of time because obviously i came back on my period then i lost it again and then i've obviously got it back now so i haven't had like a proper like functioning period for like three years which is actually so sad when i think about it but i never remember my periods being this bad when i actually had my period originally um but i'm just literally recently wiped out like this today i literally napped from like half one till like for because I had the biggest headache like a proper migraine type headache so the best thing for me probably isn't this bright light shining in my face but I've got content to create and people to create that content for basically at the moment my life has been absolutely crazy mental obviously I started uni in September um, and that was a big thing as someone in recovery I feel like I said this in the last video but it's December not December, November now, almost December, which is crazy. And I feel like my life has kind of taken like a nice, like, I don't know. Basically, I was meant to start placement on the 7th of November, but there was a major problem with my, like, you have to be clear to go on placement. And there was a problem with that because of my, like, mental health problems before, so like my eating disorder. Um, so I wasn't able to start placement. So it was a big kick in the teeth and like a big setback. But thankfully, I've got the appointment for the health check next Tuesday. So I'll be able to start placement next week, which is really exciting. But I was gutted because I was like, oh, like so much of my life has been taken away from this thing. And now it's stopping me from literally doing my uni course. Like I have to do placement to be able to qualify as a midwife. And I literally can't. But it's fine. It was a lot of tears and a lot of upset when I first found out. But my dad is so good and he calmed me right down. My dad was really good and was like, don't worry, it can all be sorted. And I can just do it in the summer, which is annoying, but it's got to be done. And I've had a nice three weeks off now. I've had a nice chill, like relax, like conduct myself. I've been at home, which has been lush because I'm not a major fan of living away uh, at all. I love being home. It's just like, I feel like I've been so used to, like, I spent so much time at home and it's just like my comfort. Like, I hate being away, really. But you've got to do these things. And yeah, so I can start placement finally next week, which is exciting. And then obviously it's Christmas. Um, and 
I'm actually in a really good place. Like it has taken me a long, long time to get here, but I can really, really say that I have never felt like this, like I'm really happy and really good right now in my life with all things. Like I'm seeing my friends a lot, going out with my friends a lot. Food is just really good at the moment. When I moved to uni, I feel like I did struggle a bit and not that I stopped eating or anything like that or, but I did fall into slight little habits where I wasn't probably fueling enough. I was on, on some days, some days I was, some days it would be like, oh, like, and that was just down to pure stress, but I could feel it in my body. I was tired all the time. I had no energy to do anything. I didn't want to see people. I was moody. I was rowing a lot with my parents. And I feel like I noticed that. And straight away, I was like, I've got to stop. So I'm trying at the moment to actually eat more because I feel so much, not eat more, but just like fuel myself properly, like eat before I go to the gym in the morning, like or like instead of waiting until after the gym and stuff like that, like the little things that maybe I still had rules or like this morning I ate breakfast at 20 past eight and I have not done that in the longest time, but I was starving and I was like, I'm just gonna eat and I'm fine now. Like the food, like your body, like just like whether you eat breakfast at half eight or 11, like I'm still gonna want lunch. So it doesn't matter. Like, and even if I did need a snack in the middle of the morning, and I just feel so at peace with it and like so much better than I have done in the past, which if people aren't like recovering from the eating disorder, I feel like people will be like, what are you on about? Like, what do we do? But it's just how like people, like it's just what my brain is like. And yeah, so I feel like right now I'm in a really good place and all the little tiny rules that maybe were still there, I feel like are slowly going and I'm challenging myself more. I'm eating out more. I'm doing more things with friends, going out, getting drunk and living a life really, which I have struggled with for a long time don't get me wrong it still causes me a lot of anxiety like going out with my friends I still get really worried and really stressed about literally up until the second that I leave but as soon as I'm there I feel so happy and I have such a good time all the time so it really is like it's taken a long time like this time last year I was really struggling and a video came up on my memories today and actually makes me really sad because it was like a video and I stood there I'd clearly been crying and I was just looking and I just remember feeling so trapped even though I'd got into a really good place and I had just gone last Christmas straight back down into a hole but I'm actually really excited this Christmas because I feel like it's going to be the first Christmas in two years where I'm like not really ill and really happy not ha not really yeah really happy and just excited for Christmas rather than dreading it because of all the food and all the events and all the things around Christmas I'm just really looking forward to it which is like so nice for me to feel and I also want to say I understand how stressful it can be but please just take one one step at a time speak to someone in your family like whenever I'm at my worst I push everyone away and I am the worst communicator in the world like for me if I'm angry if I'm upset or if I feel any other emotion then like just fine and like calm and relaxed and happy I will have a row with you because I cannot cope with that type of communication, which is something that I really need to work on. So if anyone has, if any of you are struggling, then just speak to like your mum or your sister or your auntie or your dad or your boyfriend or your friend or anyone message me and I try my best to get back to as many people as possible. Because although Christmas can be scared and there is still times where I feel like, oh, like it's stressful. Like I'm going skiing the day after Christmas and I'm, not worried, but it is stress, like it's stressy. But as long with that this year, I'm filled with excitement. Whereas last year, all I could think about was, oh my God, the food, the drinks, the people, the things. And this year, it's like, yeah, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, I might be a bit upset sometimes, but I'm gonna have a really good year. I'm gonna fuel properly and I'm gonna have a good time. And I'm excited, hopefully, for a good, weeks and weeks like three however many weeks of nice happy celebrations all i'm like concerned about is oh my god how is it going to be 2023 and i'm going to be 19 next year i cannot believe it like so old but yeah but anyway i have a few questions now to en to answer answer um 
so I'm gonna just answer them. There's only like a few, but I feel like it can be helpful. The first one is, do you ever still experience extreme hunger? I just think I've got a big appetite. Like I feel like when I had extreme hunger, when I say it was extreme, I mean, I would do, I remember it when I was going through extreme hunger. So what was it like April, May? I would do a box of Crave a day, half a box of mini wheat of X a day, probably like 300 grams of oats a day. And then I'd have lunch, I'd have biscuits, I'd have, I would go through so much food. So I don't experience it to the extent that I used to experience it. But obviously some days I'll be like on the weekend, I just was not hungry. I still ate like breakfast, lunch, dinner, I had snacks. Like I, I so like the, a day that I'm not really hungry, I'll still eat five to six times a day. But then like yesterday, for example, couldn't stop eating all day. I was starving, had breakfast, was still hungry, had a snack, had lunch, was still hungry, had a snack, had another snack, then I had dinner, then I had dessert, then I had a snack before bed. And I just couldn't, until like I went to sleep, I just felt like I was eating all day, which is completely, completely normal, but it is not the exact, like the same amount of hunger that I would have when I was like still gaining weight. Like, so to an extent, I say like, some days I have extreme hunger, but then not really because I never ever anymore experience it as much as I did before but that was because my body at that point was starving and like I literally would not stop eating I would eat like if I had a bowl of cereal I'd be having three most probably because I was just obsessed like I just literally there's some I'll leave it in the description one of my extreme hunger videos I was just hungry all the time which is so normal and if that's you now like respond to that hunger like if I'm if I ever have hungry days I'm responding to it because I know if I don't then next week on like Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday I'm gonna be starving Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and I'm not gonna be able to stop eating Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday because I've ignored it today tomorrow and the next day what's the point okay if the camera angle has just changed let me pick up a bit because the storage just ran out on my phone which is not very good next question did you struggle letting go of your old body last year 100 percent. even though i look the same my body dysmorphia last summer was like out of this world horrendously bad i thought i was so much bigger than i was i literally hated my body and it makes me sad because i was so beautiful and i actually was my body last summer was completely different so basically last summer i kind of recovered but not really because then i had a massive relapse and here i am today after recovering again well say recovering again like it was all part of my recovery but now i'm in like a lot of god tier place compared to last summer i was still going in the holes all the time but yeah last summer i i remember being on holiday and hating my body this summer um it's completely different. I'm still not like, oh, I love it. And there's still days that I think, mm, I really, really don't like this outfit or I really, really feel self-conscious today or I really am struggling today with my body. Nine times out of 10, those feelings do come, but then I can ride the wave and put a big jumper on and I'm fine. Like I still blow. At the end of the day, I'm a bloated queen compared to the beginning of the day. My body changes completely from 9 a.m. in the morning to 9 p.m. at night. But I've learned that like, that's just so normal. Like the beauty standards, like it's just, everyone wants to be this perfect little princess picture thing. And it's just so unrealistic and not normal. I've always been petite and small and my body is changed so much, but everybody's body is meant to change. Like how am I meant to sit here at the age of 18 and expect to look the same as I did when I was like 12. It's just not gonna happen, Rube. Sorry, hun. So yeah, like I definitely struggled a lot more letting go last year, whereas now I have grown to, to realise and understand like being like I was, I didn't have a period, like I am the biggest girl ever who wants so many babies when she gets older, and I just think like 
I can either be able to have that blessing of being able to have children when I older when I'm older. Like this is the biggest thing for me. Be able to have the blessing of children when I'm older in a few years or not have a period for the rest of my life and not ever be able to have children. And for me, they're like the children and having a healthy body and a healthy period wins over everything a hundred and ten times. Letting my eating disorder win all the time, I'm never gonna have a life. So the next one is when I start eating, I get more hungry. Is this normal? 110%. I, or also, by the way, is anyone else a let's not put our heating on type of house? Because we are. Um, so I have to live in big jumpers, blankets, coats, because, you know, cost of living crisis. I cannot stress this enough. Even now, it has taken me, like, do you know this morning when I woke up hungry, I was buzzing because i haven't woke up with normal hunger signals for so so long and that is what it is your body is so used to you not fueling it it just thinks it's not gonna get food so as soon as you give your body even if it's literally a grape it is gonna instantly be like i want more food i want more food and some for me it was kind of like a brain first type of thing and i remember my it used to really upset me because my brain was sometimes constantly fuzzy and I'd be like I need something to eat I need something to eat and as soon as I started sometimes I wouldn't stop for like an hour because I'd be so hungry but it's so normal like that's just your body's natural response and you should definitely 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 listen to it and like it's really hard because there's so much contradicting information and like so many people will be like oh you probably shouldn't do that or are you sure that's what you're gonna do but listen to me it's what i did and look at me now i'm fine i'm happy and i definitely think it's what you're meant to do like you're meant to listen to that hunger i used to say like i'd eat breakfast i wouldn't stop being hungry then for until i'd like given my body what it wanted so like yeah i had crumpets for breakfast but i was still hungry for a bowl of cereal so off i went to get that bowl of cereal and Although it's really difficult and hard, it's got to be done, hence. Like, you've got to listen to your body. Your body is literally, there's little things in the brain saying, beep, 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 and they're desperate for you to keep giving it food. So obviously, as soon as you start eating, you're going to want to, your body's going to want more. And it is a really hard thing to come to terms with, but I promise you, recovery and life after recovering is so, so worth it. Okay. I'm only going to do one more um, because I feel like this video will literally be going on forever um, and it is any tips on starting recovery. For me, the biggest thing is make sure you have a lot of support around you because I could never have done it without my mum, dad and sisters and make sure the people around you understand what you're going through. There's so many different ways that you can recover and there's no th this video is never me saying this is how you should recover like yeah i went all in and it did wonders for me but some people don't do that and it doesn't work for them and that's completely fine but the way you do it make sure it's the right like make sure it's the right way for you and also remember why you're doing it like you can sit th at the beginning of my recovery i used to just be force fed food and i didn't want to recover and it took me a long while to really, really know and understand why I did want to recover. And as soon as you get that picture in your head, it changes everything. So make sure you know, my top tips would be, make sure you know the reasons why you want to recover. Have a good support network, speak to people and just believe in yourself and take each day as it comes. You might have had an absolute shocker of a day yesterday but you have to wake up the next day with a fresh mind, a fresh head and a fresh start. Because otherwise, if you let every little thing, like every bad day get you down, you'll never get back up there. So take each day as it comes and as hard as it is, you've got to be positive. Think of yourself in 10 years time. If you were still in that situation that you are in now, would you be happy? And nine times out of 10, the answer is probably a big fat no and 
that is probably the biggest things that helped me. So that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I really hope I got to answer some of your questions. Again, if there's any other video, any other questions you do have, then either leave them in the comments or message me over on Instagram and I'll either get back to you on there or I'll be sure to film this video, a part three to this video um, when I can. I hope you're all okay. My Instagram is always down in the bio as well as my TikTok. Make sure you go and follow me over on there. I do lots of recovery videos over on TikTok and my Instagram is always open for a message. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.